Okay, y'all, it's early morning. Me and Lee have headed to Hicks Rock Farm to see Holland and Lily. And uh, we are on their driveway. This is a driveway. It's about a mile long. <laughs> they have about a mile long driveway. Oh, if my windshield wasn't so dirty. <laughs> um, really want to show the bridge. So let me do it this way. Okay, let's do it this way. Get up close. So this is going back to Hicks Rock Farm. And their driveway, like I said, is about a mile long. And here's the little bridge you gotta go across. And they're the only only house back here. This is actually their driveway. Only house back here. Sorry, oh, I dropped it. Here's their little bridge. It's our rickety old bridge. And their creek. Sorry. <clears throat> It's beautiful back here. I just love their place. It is just awesome. And oh, we're not gonna probably drive the whole thing with the video on because it's a long driveway. Yeah, and he's had a lot of tree limbs. Yeah, he's got stuff. a lot of trees down. Fell he's down. He's had to clear out of the road. Down. We've had a lot of strong wind lately. Okay, so anyway, um, Lee and Holland are going to walk the woods today. So that's gonna be our walk in the woods for this week. It's gonna be Holland and Lee uh, walking around looking for mushrooms or whatever they can find, arrowheads, uh, chert for Lee to make arrowheads, all that stuff. So anyway, they have a beautiful place. So uh, here you go. And me and Lily are going to go to the Amish stores. Okay guys, we're here at a Higgs Rock Farm today. We out here in the woods walking around, me and Holland. Trace and Miss Lily, they took off to the Amish stores. Where house is back over there on the other side of the hill and through the valley. Anyhow, I found me a pretty good chunk of chert back here just a minute ago. I knocked a few pieces off to check it out. Hopefully I'm not shaking too bad. But anyhow, I found that so far. We've seen a few different things, some blood root and stuff. We'll film some of it on the way back here after a while. And once they get back, there's a few things that I think she's wanting to film. So, anyhow, that there's what we got going on right now. They're hauling down there trying to break stuff. So, hopefully nobody will fall down and fall in the river here after a while. The river's back down over there. So, if we find something here really, really cool here in a minute, we'll definitely film it. Okay, guys, I've come up on the uh, wood ear mushrooms. And we're going to pack this hair back to the house so that Teresa can get them. Uh, or break it off and pack a little bit back. So, right now, we're still down here in the woods. I was walking up through this little ditch. Okay, guys, I got out of that ditch, and now I'm up here. Spring is right over there. We're still on the on this hill, walking around it, coming around over top of that there hill. It's the caves. And I just come up on this, one all by itself, one little lone honey mushroom. All right, here's the beautiful spring. Come straight out of this wall, right there. You can see it ain't nothing but a big limestone wall, way up there. Probably a hundred foot tall, if not more. And uh, 
they've got a extra pump down in there. That's what that wire is. In case their well goes out or something, they can get water out of this spring. Uh, as you can see, I don't know how well you can see it, but you can definitely see the current going past that uh, fence post that's drove out there. Uh, it has a decent little current going down through here. This is a big spring. That water is wonderful. You can drink it straight just like it is. Coming straight out from underneath that big limestone cliff. And it goes down here. And it flows. And then it goes on around the bend. Goes around another bend over there. Goes into a creek. And then flows straight into a little river. It's awesome. Wonderful. Wonderful, beautiful water. I'd drink that any day. Any day. All right, we're still down here. There's some blood root that's coming up right here. There's another little piece right here by my foot. Blood root all up in there. I don't know if y'all can see this. That's all blood root right there. All right here on the side of this big stone cliff right there. I think Teresa would have loved this here log right here. Look at all these old dead turkey tails. It is all over that log. Everywhere. Oh, she would have loved that. Yeah, I hope I can get this before my battery runs out. There is the cave. The other cave is right there. We went and ate just a few minutes ago. They're still up there. It's getting cold, so I figured I'd come back here and kind of finish up the video by myself. And uh, anyhow, we're kind of getting in a flat spot. Overlooking a little bit of that valley down there. And the cliffs up there. Yes, that is a cave over there. And uh, we're gonna go right in this here cave. It's where that's we're gonna go. And uh, stole Holly's flashlight so we can walk back up in here some and uh, try to show y'all a little bit of the caves up in here. Pretty good sized cave. Probably 25 foot up in the air. <coughs> Pretty good area around. Just looking out of the cave. Just walked up in, in it. Let's see what we got. There's a little cavern that goes back up in there. Know what's all up in there? Let me go up in here, son. Which kind? Uh, little pieces of like animal bones and stuff that that the natives had in here years ago, and animals have picked up and brought in. There's a lot of different stuff up in here. This one don't go too far. But pretty cool cave that he's got here. Very cool cave. Going on back here, so. 
All right, we're pretty much back here at the back of the cave now. As you can see, it doesn't really go much farther. Uh, it definitely goes on farther back. But the ceiling is right down on the top. It's probably been filled in a lot over the years. Uh... I'm sure there's some animals going back up in there. For sure. I'm just looking around, seeing if there's anything I can spot and see. It goes on back there. You can see some stalactites and stalagmites. They've, read, they've met back up in there. There's some stalagmites there on the bottom. And who knows how far that goes on back up in there. It may open up into a, another great big cavern. Don't really know. I ain't been back up in there. So that there will have to be for another day. I might check it out. Me and Holly might check it out someday. So, we'll go back down this way. Alright guys, my battery's about to go dead. I think this here's a beautiful view from this here point. I'm probably a quarter away up in the cave. Kind of looking around. But that there's the opening going out. So it's probably going to be the last part of my video. Because my phone is about to go dead. And the rest is going to have to be Teresa. So anyhow. It's awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome here. Okay y'all. Back home here is the piece of wood that Lee brought me when we were at Higgs Rock Farm with the wood ear mushroom on there. When you saw it, it was looking a little better than this. It has dried up. Uh, we got this on Saturday and this is Monday and has dried up. And uh, But like we showed in another video of the jelly roll mushroom, it will rehydrate. And uh, I've not had the wood ear because we had the uh, jelly roll mushroom that I had showed on a previous video, a couple of them. And I had, we did not have wood ear here behind our house. This one is wood ear because uh, it is flatter and thicker than the jelly roll. And the jelly roll has like a translucent amber color. Uh, it is called amber jelly roll mushroom. This one is a little darker, and I'm going to go ahead and pick these off of here and rehydrate them and show you. Um, and sometimes these are bigger. These are pretty small. They looked big on his, uh, his camera when he showed them. He was kind of up close, I believe. And let's see. Let's get all of that. Okay, I think that's all of it that I can get off of there. Okay, we can throw that stick away. All right, I have a bowl of warm water here, and I'm just going to put these in it. I'm not even going to wash them up. I'll wash them up after I rehydrate them. It's dirt. Okay, now I'm just going to roll these around in this water. It's not hot water. It's just barely warm. And uh, kind of wash them off in here. Oh, yeah. They're rehydrating up nicely. Now, like I said, these are a little flatter. And uh, maybe a little thicker than the Jelly Roll. And not quite as amber. They're darker. They don't have the translucent amber. They have more of a brownish black. Uh, thickness 
not really translucent so much like the uh, amber jelly rolls. All right, I'm gonna give that just a second. They are really rehydrating up good. I'm gonna give those just a second and I will tell you a little bit about the wood ear. Now in the video, when I talked about the uh, jelly roll mushroom, the amber jelly roll, uh, they, are, um, they are edible and uh, medicinal. Uh, they have a lot of good nutrients and uh, fiber and, uh, and all the good stuff. Uh, they are used a lot in uh, Chinese food and medicine. Uh, the Chinese consider it a, a delicacy. They, they order them online. If they can't find them, they order them online uh, dried and rehydrate them. And they use them in uh, soups and... and um, stir fry and uh, I showed a, a, a recipe where I'd done some um, uh, a kind of a mushroom sauce and put on top of a meat uh, in my video uh, that was with the amber jelly roll mushroom these you can do the same thing but from what I understand the uh, the uh, wood ear mushroom has even more uh, nutrients and vitamins and is just uh, even better for you. Uh, it is uh, higher in all of those things than the Jelly Roll. Uh, both are great. Uh, this has been used traditionally in Chinese medicine uh, uh, a lot more. Uh, it is very high in fiber and copper, uh, which you need and antioxidants, uh, it promotes gut health, um, a, a good mushroom to find and have. You know, when I first saw these mushrooms on a video, Manly done our walk in the woods and first saw these mushrooms, um, I had seen them before, not the first time I'd seen them, but the first time I talked about them and showed them, and I said, oh, I won't eat these because they are nasty looking. And they still are, except that now I have eaten them and I don't think of them the same way anymore. Um, it's, they're, they're good. They, they take on the flavor of whatever you put them with. But knowing they don't have a nasty flavor, really didn't have a nasty texture like I thought they would. I thought they would be gummy and taste like, um, I don't know, slimy or something, but they don't. Uh, it really takes on the flavor of whatever you put it with, and uh, and the texture's not that bad. Um, it really isn't. Uh, so, let's see. These are really hydrating back up good here. I don't think they're going to be huge. Go ahead and take one out of here. Um, well, actually, I'll show you all of them first, and then I'll take one out. So, that's what we're getting. It's really rehydrating up well, and I'm going to take one out. Now, see if I can get a good, it's not as translucent as you can see. Uh, that light behind me coming through, let's see if I can kind of, okay. That light out of that window is bad. Okay, you see it's not as translucent as the amber jelly roll. It's kind of flatter, looks more like an ear, so they say, and it kind of does. It's kind of curved in, not as wrinkly as the Jelly Roll, a little bit thicker, and I don't know how else to describe it, but there you go. That is a wood ear mushroom and we haven't been able to find them behind our house but uh i'm gonna keep looking but yeah it does look a lot like a little ear a little brown ear <laughs> so that was the biggest one here let's do another one here's another piece i wish that light wasn't so bad there's another piece but yeah, they are rehydrating up very, very well here. And I'm gonna go over here a little. See how well they are rehydrating back up. That is very soft now. 
when I picked them off of that stick, they were uh, hard and crunchy. And now they have rehydrated up and they are soft and pliable. And I'm gonna clean them up real good and probably throw them in some stir fry. Uh, I'm gonna dehydrate some. I didn't get enough yet to dehydrate, but obviously you can dehydrate these and put them in a jar and, uh, and just rehydrate them when you get ready to use them. Anyway, there you go. They are rehydrated back up and uh, <laughs> looking yummy. <laughs> I wouldn't have said that until I had tried the amber jelly roll mushrooms. I would not have said that that looks yummy. Um, try these out. I'm serious. Um, like I said before when I'd seen them, I was like, no way. That looks nasty. I'm not trying that. But trust me, they're not as nasty as they look. And um, they are great for you. Great medicine and just really take on the flavor of whatever you put with them so you'll never know <laughs> so there you go give us a thumbs up comment subscribe and watch us on thursday nights at six central